Oh, we got a doubter in the house. Atheists know that all is an invention in the individual human mind, just like Jesus and Yahweh. She's so stupid. Do you not know that we have ancient historical writings that prove that Jesus was an actual person that was crucified? You stupid, fat, demonic reader. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, look, well, like I said earlier, it appeases the flesh, but Big Mama lied again. No historians wrote about Jesus during his supposed life, okay? <laughs> all, fact, all accounts came decades or hundred years later. So, again, you're so stupid, okay? Do you know who Josephus is, Big Fat Mama? <laughs> he was alive when Jesus was crucified. He was a child. He grew up hating Jesus because he was a Jew. He rejected him as Messiah. So there's one guy that was alive while he was crucified, you fat idiot. Okay. I'm I'm so sick of you. You're a troll. Your ugly face pops up in all these channels. I've seen you on Donnie's stream a few times. You go to Kent Hovind and harass over there. I've seen on Sales Channel. Why don't you grow up? I ain't no snowflake, uh, big fat mama. I'm more man than you could ever handle. Yeah, I, don't, I don't take shit from people. So, so yeah. Tacitus, like, yeah, we have Tacitus. We have like um, some other ones out there. I forgot their name. That, what's it, that weird guy's name? He wrote a letter to his son from prison. We're just talking about the burning yeah. of Rome that was going on. They're trying to blame it on Christians. No, the miracles are well established throughout uh, historians. I even debated Godless Engineer on this. You, you really need to get familiar with the um, the scholarship, Big Mad Mom. I'm serious. You're really outdated on it. It's indisputable. Jesus was a healer, an exorcist. I mean, that's something. That's a consensus, by the way. But um, not only them, the 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 Romans did too. They talked about all his miracles too. It's not just them. So, like, Big Bad Mama does has. You really need to get going with that. Get on the scholarship into that. All right, Tom. The more you show her, you know she's just she's just gonna be without excuse on Judgment Day. Yeah, yeah. You know, people like that don't want to believe. You could, show, you could show them all the evidence in the world. Uh, they're not going to believe because they don't want to because they love sin. That's why they hate God. I'm gonna show something. I found my uh, presentation, by the way, so I'm gonna share it. And give a couple quotes or citations to Big Mama, just to show you how out of whack you really are with the data. And this is like either because you have some type of bias or bigotry to Christianity, I don't know. But I'm going to prove you wrong here about the miracles of Christ in scholarship. There we go. So I'm just going to start giving off citations here. So. Whatever you think about the philosophical possibility of miracles, it's clear that Jesus was widely reputed to have done them. And Jesus probably did have some pretty amazing counters with people uh, believed to be demon-possessed. And, and his ability to cast out demons was seen as a characteristic of his ministry. On numerous layers of our traditions, Jesus is said to have healed those with various ailments. This is the New Testament historical introduction to the early Christian writings. We'll go to the next one. Jesus was most certainly an exorcist. Scholar Greg L. Blomberg. The historical reliability of the Gospels. There's another one. It is virtually indisputable that Jesus was a healer and exorcist. This is scholar... Theologian Marcus Borg. Marcus Borg's an atheist. These are historians saying this. You cannot ignore the healings and exorcisms. This is Dominic Crossan. He's another one. He doesn't. He's an anti-Christian. I don't know if he's an atheist, but he's definitely not a Christian. There is no doubt Jesus really healed the sick people and expelled demons. Rudolf Bultmann, another historian scholar. 
For these miracles, the historical evidence is excellent. British scholar A.M. Hunter. And the last one, most historical Jesus scholars today, regardless of their personal theological orientation, do accept that Jesus drew crowds who believe that he performed cures and exorcisms. Paula Fredrickson. So there it is, the consensus. I mean, that is that's the historical position that he did miracles. Now, you might disagree and say, oh no, these were just made up things. Well, that's you're you have a, a burden of proof to demonstrate how they're not miracles. So yeah, it's out there. It's not just a bunch of hearsay from a bunch of here and there, you know. No, these are this is the historic this is the consensus position. The religious writings of, of those times. <laughs> They read like yeah. historical documentation. That's what Mama here is saying that well, the miracles are metaphors. It's like no, no, you can you can you can read things like the other writings that are like that. Or for example, the the Gnostic Gospels. I'll, I'll accept. Yeah, th those things are all just nonsense or fan fiction, as it were. But if you read the Gospels and you, you read the Bible itself, it's not. It's it's clearly not supposed to be some some religious writing. It's just somebody wrote it down and you know, just because but they deny that it's a historical document simply because it ipso facto is a religious document because it's describing our lord and savior but that doesn't negate it from being a historical document <laughs> just because it's part of the bible yeah i just find out so i found some other good stuff good night big bad mama i know like um kevin is he comes hard at people, you, I, you know, whatever, with, like, um, you know, take him lightly sometimes because that's just the way he, he operates. But uh, I hope you do think about these things, you know. Oh, I wanted to get saved, but uh, yes. she's been trolling for quite some time. So. <laughs> yeah. 